I was sharpening some bullets when a question popped into my mind. I wonder what the best bait for trapping raccoons is. Google wouldn't tell me, so I decided to go get the best three baits I could find to test it out. Little did I know that that would lead to a game warden tracking me to my house. Good. All right, the first thing I want to try is these right here. Justin says the coons love these. Then we'll grab some tuna. And then we'll go with cat food. Let's go with let's go with this right here. That'll be enough. I want to see what catches the coons better. Raccoons are omnivores, so you can catch them on pretty much anything. We've had good luck in the past with sardines. I've never tried tuna, and a lot of guys have told me to just use cat food. So we're going to set like 10 or 12 sets, and we'll put a couple out with each bait and see which one produces the most coons. So it's actually like raccoon rut right now. It's like mid-February. And so a lot of the, the boar raccoons are out traveling looking for females. I, I think a lot of times they like to follow creeks like this one. And I think that this creek that Oak's playing in over there, probably a good one to pick coons up on. Man, I feel like coons will travel that trail right there, but they're also liable, you know, to travel every side of this. Right here sets up good for a pocket set. So I'm just gonna put a pocket set right here and I'll show you what that looks like. Everyone who even doesn't even hunt raccoons or trap raccoons for some reason knows they like water. So we're going to set our trap right here under the water so they can't, they'll just think it's a rock when they go to step on it. And we're going to put a little bait hole right in here. So we clear that out and just put a hole in the wall. Look at that. There's pheasant feathers right there, and that's just the thing. I mean, everything floats down creek, so stuff comes to chew on it. <sighs> Oakland, no. Really, Oak, you crazy. I want to find a nice log like this one here that we can anchor our trap to. Take a piece of wire, wrap it around our log, hook that right to our trap, and we'll just take our trap Set it, take it, just set it right in there. Then we take some of these babies. These are, man, do you guys eat sardines? Comment if you've ever eaten sardines or you would eat sardines. Justin eats these things, but I don't, I don't know, man. Toss that right back in the hole. And Mr. Raccoon, hopefully you'll be walking down this creek, get caught. And we'll just take some of this juice and just dribble it out just for a little more smell. Oak, stay out of there. And that is a finished set. At this next stream, you can see there's another high bank over there and it's flatter on this side. And we got a really big pool. So we have for this set, a dog proof trap. And these are kind of neat because a dog basically can't get catching them. They're caught in them. They're made for coons. This thing, there's a spring in here that pulls that wire back and forth and there's a trigger in the bottom. So you put your bait in the hole and the coon has to reach in there. When he pulls the trigger, this clamps down on his arm and you got him. And there we'll see if Mr. Raccoon likes the cat food. Dump some in there. Get your tongue out of there. Nice thing about those traps is they're super easy to set. Oh, no. They're super easy to set. Pretty effective. I should order a whole dozen of those, but I just stick with the traps I, get, I have for now. We have another stream here. I just put in a pocket set. I threw this tuna down the hole instead of the sardines. Dribbled some juices around the outside. So that gives us a set with all three. I don't want to bore you guys with every single set I make. So all of them will be similar to that. And we're going to set as many as I can, hopefully nine before dark. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, boys. Check number one. I just checked the first three traps and nothing in them. And I was getting a little bit worried, but look what we got here. First raccoon on set number four. And I believe that is on the tuna. So plus one for tuna. Probably a boar if I was to guess. Sloppy wet boar coon, man. The only thing I don't like about setting in creeks like that, but it's effective like you saw there. I remade the set with the same everything the same reset the trap let's get a weight he's like 12 pounds even basically i've never actually rate weighed that many raccoons so this is going to be a good study just to see what they weigh on average so that's a good start let's see if we got any more today there's a good chance we got trap number five here to check looks like we got some fur jeez whoa 
That's a nice coon there. He might not have been in here that long. That's coon number two on the day. Can't beat that. And we will rebate with this stuff, because that's what we caught it on. We got one on cat food, one on tuna. This is the new one right here. This is that old one. You can see this one's, this is a big coon here. Let's see what she weighs. Not much bigger, really. 13 pounds, two ounces. We got ourselves about 24 pounds already. Day number two, and look in that same set we had the coon yesterday, we got a nice boar. He must have had a bout with porcupine because he's got a porcupine quill right in his nose. Oh, buddy. So that's another plus one for the cat food. He's, he's a big boar. I bet he goes another 12 or 13 pounds probably. No more coons today on check number two. So we might have to put some more traps out. We got a couple more days to hit our 100 pound goal. Put some more friskies in there. Got some on the outside, but we'll give them some freebies. 12 pounds, 14 ounces. And this is the point where things got interesting. I was checking my line the next day and noticed that a trap was missing. Not long after that, I got a message from a game warden saying that he was looking for me and to call him back. This call may be monitored or recorded for training purposes. Game Commission, how can I help you? Hi, I missed a call from Officer... Your name? Uh, Cole Hyduke. Hi Duke, H I D U K. Okay. One moment here. We hope you enjoy every day of field. And again, thank you. Go ahead, sir. Hi, is it Cole? Yeah, hey, this is Cole Hi Duke. Hi, Cole Hi Duke. It's awesome. Uh, good, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> um, so, uh, quick question. Uh, do you trap up in the at all? Yeah, so I actually, uh, I'm actually up on the game lands right now. I just ran ran the whole line and then got the message. And uh, I see I'm missing a, a trap, so I'm assuming that's what this is about, maybe, or? And this is, I have your trap. Um, so, you, you set up drag. Is that what you're doing, the whole drag, correct? Yeah, just on that one I did, yeah. All right, so um, are you parking up on that dead end up there? Oh, yeah, yeah, the dead end road, yep. Do you want me to meet at your house? Would that work best? Uh, if you're heading home, I mean. Yeah, I mean, that that's fine. Alright, I'll be there in uh, about half an hour. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll see you then, Cole. Okay, that'll Thank work. You. Thank you. Well, he said I'm not in trouble, but he wouldn't say what exactly was going on, so I don't know. I mean, I feel like if I wasn't in trouble, he'd say tell me something you know what what happened but see what's going on i guess i don't know how you doing good so I mean, um you trap up on the end of the hill there yeah i had a coon line this week running up okay. through there so you were trapping for coons yeah okay. all right and you had the one that was a drag yeah right right in that spot i actually had two two that i just wired off to i was trapping mainly creeks but i had Got two it. there and i saw the one was okay so, uh, the reason I had a trap is because oh the people that live up there, um, actually hold in a dog in a trap. Really? So, uh, dog's fine. Okay. Um, but it made its way over to their property. Oh, okay. I did it really? Yeah. So just be careful with the drags if you're setting up yeah, this I'll, property. Okay. Yeah. I was, yeah, I should have earth anchored them in I, or, or just set it yeah. to sat like, Yeah. Okay. If you're, if you're going to be doing it, just. I'd set like an earth anchor next to somebody's property so whatever yeah. they have doesn't run on their property. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I have your trap, so I'll okay. give that back to you. Um, also, I have a deer on the back I just shot three hours ago. Would you happen to want it? Uh, maybe. Somebody hit it last night. It's the body's in good condition. It's like just got broken. So this morning I shot at like eight o'clock. <laughs> My list has run out. I've run dry, so. I'll call Cody up quick. Might as well just. Yo, I got a crazy question for you. Do you ever do you want a deer by chance? I have a <laughs> I have a game warden in my driveway with a deer and wants to know if I know anybody that wants one. Alright, I bet you're the only person I could think of. Alright. Alright, I just figured I'd check. 
No, uh, he's we butchered, he had a roadkill one. We butchered this here with him. That's why I was thinking. Ah, uh, okay. All right, well, here you are. Here's the, uh, the proper tag for it. Awesome. Um, yeah, like I said, property owner up there. They have, yeah. lots, they have a lot of problems. So Do they? If, if you can earth anchor anything down, so it doesn't. Go yeah, and I'll just stay clear out of there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Family. Okay. Give me a call. Um, I'm always looking for people to give deer to because, like I okay. said, I don't want to see these things go to waste. Okay. okay. No. Yeah. I I think I have people once in a while. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll see you out there again. So, All right, thank you. That's no problem, take care. So my trap was about 500 yards from these people's property line, and I think their dog wandered out, got caught. I've never had that happen. Coons never take drags more than a couple feet before they get hung up. Thanks to the officer for getting my trap and returning it to me. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.